Hey, what's up? This is Paul Solt. I just want to do a quick little thing. I am searching for a job. I am looking for a full-time position. I kind of want to do YouTube videos on the side again. Um, so I'm playing around with that. But I want to talk about my process right now and sort of show you what's working for me and share some, some tips. So I've got a Google spreadsheet here and I've just spent most of today and I spent some time last week or the week before that looking at jobs and then I actually put them in this list. I sort of was bookmarking different jobs, but I really needed a system so that I could sort of find all those jobs in one place. So I went through today for several hours and I've got um, close to 70, I think 76, 75 or so company potential positions, either senior. Um, there's a couple lower level that I was going to share with some of my um to my former students. And sort of just trying to figure out, okay, which of these jobs should I apply for and how do I prioritize? Because there's so many, I don't wanna just spam out jobs and then have like endless interviews. I wanna sort of control which interviews I'm scheduling and make sure that I'm prepared and know what I need to do to prepare. I know one of the things I do need to do is um, code challenges. I haven't done code challenges since I worked at Lambda School. Um, and that's pretty big at a lot of these tech companies. So that's something that I have to spend some time working on and practicing. And it probably won't be enough time, um, all the time that I need to do that because I also want to do some app development. And I don't know, I think I, want, I need to mix both. But these are the companies that I'm currently targeting. I found a ton on LinkedIn. I found some on levels.fyi. Um, and I just started put, pasting them here. It was a little bit tedious reading through the job descriptions, trying to see like, what's the income? I sort of captured some of that. I didn't capture it for all of them. And um, what I did is I put an interest level and this interest level is one to 10. And now what I'm gonna do is just sort by this. So if you go to format on a Google sheet, you can then do condition, well, actually not conditional formatting. Uh, that's great for um, highlighting. What I wanna do is I wanna filter or sort the entire sheet. So I wanna sort the sheet and then I wanna sort it by a certain column. So right now A is selected, so it's gonna let me do that. There should be another sort option. If I go to data, it seems to be based on what I'm clicking on. Or do I always do that? I don't think I do that. I thought there was a custom sort, unless they moved it. Well, that's weird. How do we get over there? Sort. Guess not. Okay, let's go back in. Um, must be mixing up apps. So here we're just going to sort the sheet by my interest column. So select the interest column, go to data, sort sheet, and we're going to sort, um, I think we need to do Z to A. So Z to A will give us the 10 being the topmost. So I identified these. I don't know if they're still open. Like this one looks interesting. I've looked at it a couple times. Looks like it's still there. A lot of them on LinkedIn say they have over 100 applicants. This was reposted. Um, I can see I have some connections on LinkedIn. So like the benefit of LinkedIn is I can then click here and then I can see all of my co uh, connections there or people or this is, I think, Rochester Institute of Technology connection. So that's, sorry, that's alumni. I don't know anyone. I know one person at Netflix indirectly. Um, so... That one looks interesting just because like I've done video stuff for GoPro. So it like, it feels similar and it's doing similar types of stuff. So I'm kind of interested in that. I like video a lot. So that's why it's at the top. Games UI one looks interesting. Um, and so I was just looking at this, it's doing UI kit over games and stuff. And I've done that with my bomb dodge game. So like that sounds somewhat appealing. So these are like, some of the top ones, I think this one was doing something with Bluetooth. Um, Reddit reached out to me about a position. Um, so that's in the list. And then there's been some other ones. So like, these are like my top, I'm probably gonna target these jobs first. 
and then sort of work my way down and also sort of looking, are they actually remote? Like TikTok, AI camera sounds interesting. Not sure if that's remote. So may or may not pass on that. But I've got all the links here. I can write if I've applied. I can have other links or other, other details. And it's just a way to organize the information and find the companies that are interesting. And then these were some like lower level. I put twos and threes for like lower um, skill level or lower interest in these jobs or some of them required on site, and I don't want to necessarily move right now. Um, so I'm targeting remote first. And if that doesn't work out, then we'll figure out something else. But my goal is remote and trying to um, see what's possible with these different companies. So that's how I'm approaching my job search. That is my, my PDS. This is my first step. I probably spent maybe four or five hours um, searching LinkedIn and just all I did, let me show you what I did. Um, so if we go over to LinkedIn, there's a jobs tab. I'm not paying for LinkedIn. Maybe that helps you sort through the noise. I think I figured out how to search a little bit faster. Um, but all I'm searching for is iOS. So up here is the search bar. I just typed in iOS, very general. So it's going to hit a lot of things, but I didn't want to give it a quantifier because it, all these different companies use different quantifiers. And so I just wanted to see what's out there. Um, and I was looking at it without any filtering. And then today I, I, I got through like 30 pages. It was it was making my eyes so dry. Um, so I had to take a break. And then I was like, let me just try and like filter this a little bit. I didn't even try that. So then I did the mid senior level. So there's 3000 results. And then I did salary level. Ideally I'm looking for, I'd probably say 180,000 plus, um, more if there's RSUs and stuff like that. I don't want to filter by company yet. I was kind of just doing everything, but if you really wanted to get down to it, you could just do the remote. I was kind of exploring what the options were before I sort of self-select out. That'll cut out like 400 jobs. Um, I don't, easy apply, like, is that easy to ignore? Like, I don't know. I'm not sure if easy to apply is good for you as a, a job applicant. So yeah, you can just click one button but is that better than emailing them or submitting through their website? Like that's, that's one of the things I want to figure out. I think talking to people is good. Um, I'll probably make it a separate video on that. So I've been talking to a couple people. I've got a couple sort of leads outside of LinkedIn, but this is kind of my approach. And then all I did to go through this and build that list is I had, um, two windows open. Um, I don't know if I can do that. I'm not going to worry about it right now. But let's say I wanted to look at this Zscaler position. Is this full time, not remote? All right. So this this is another Yahoo Sports. I think I already got that one. I don't think I saw this one. So a tech lead, staff iOS engineer. Is this the same one that I'm applying to? It might be the same one, actually. Um, let's try something else. Let's go down, down, down. We see a bunch of, I'll go for Disney. Let's go for iOS senior engineer. All right, this one's on site. Um, regardless, I would still copy it as a potential option. Um, and then up here, it's a little bit confusing, but this is where you get access to the link. So I just copy the link, bring it back over here and then I can just paste it down at the bottom. So just paste it down here, say Disney. And I think I already have this one. Um, if I could spell iOS engineer, boom. I'm putting a date when I'm finding it. This is on site. Um, so this is probably going to be like a five, um, but just putting it in there and not, not going super crazy. So we are searching, we found something. I've also been saving it. I have no idea what that does. I still haven't found this saved feature. It's probably some paid thing. Um, if I want to get access to it. Um, yeah, it's 
So that's basically all I do. I read through the description. So it's just a lot of reading, looking at what the salary is, copying that over. So just putting all that in. So that's how I built this list. 142K to, I don't even remember what that was, 191. And I think they also, since they're a public company, they potentially have RSUs. So like this one, like that's just the base salary. There's potentially tens of thousands more, hundreds of thousands of more over a four-year period of RSUs or something like that. All right, that's all I have. If this was interesting, hit the like button. If you're looking for a job, let me know in the comments down below what you're doing, how your approach is working, if you've got a list like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.